come here for love or for work? He didn't find love here. Went into churches with Christianity. Then I think it came out, what about sort of 1500 and went into the opera house? Yes, I have actually made two versions of this illustrated lecture. And one I've deliberately censored, especially with the aid of my 17-year-old daughter saying, you can't show that, you can't show that, you can't show that, you'll end up in prison or thrown out of the country. So I listened to her advice and I censored my lecture. I think cinema will exist in some form, format, but not one necessarily we particularly know. And one of the very best ambassadors for that sort of activity is art. Art is ubiquitous and travels and extends all sorts of boundaries. And if you want to be really sort of romantically purist like you're intimating, you might as well go and live in a dark cell somewhere. Then I think 1918, the end of opera, basically. People still make opera, but it's not very important anymore. But there are 70 billion people in the world, and nobody does anything valuable after 80, especially grandfathers. You know, Tolstoy had finished everything by the time he was 50. Einstein had finished everything by the time he was 30. If you're an Olympic swimmer, forget it after 18. The world belongs to the young. And I think it's very selfish to hang on and to hang on to hang on. Well, the title of my uh, lecture is 